Application of Pythagorean Theorem A pencil box is 8 cm by 12 cm by 5 cm. What is the length of the longest pencil that can be placed in it? So it's a variation on a similar problem which we did earlier, right? But here you could put a pencil diagonally like I'll show you how. Let's say this is our box. Let me draw a rectangular box for you. So in earlier problem we had only shown you the base, right? Now here we have a box. And remember, we can place a pencil down below like this or diagonally like that. The longest pencil which can fit in could actually go diagonally like this. Do you see that? So that is the longest pencil which can fit into this particular box. Now the idea is how to find length of this pencil. Now to do that we will solve Pythagorean theorem twice. Rectangular base these are at 90 degrees, correct? So let us first find the diagonal of the base. Once we know the diagonal of the base, then we will use this right angle triangle and find the longest side. So let's say this is D and this is L. So we'll use Pythagorean theorem twice to calculate the length of longest pencil. Dimensions given to us are 8 by 12 by 5, right? So let us say the longest side this is 12 centimeter. And let's say this is 8 for us. And that is 5 centimeter. So what is D? D is equals to, is the hypotenuse of the base. The sides of the base are 12 and 8, right? So D square is equals to 12 square plus 8 square. So let's use the calculator. 12 square plus 8 square equals to 208. And that gives us D equals to square root of 208. Well, let's keep it as a square root since we have to square it, right? And now what is L equals to? So L square equals to d square plus the height square which is 5 square right and we know what d square is 208 right so it's good practice to write 208 plus 5 square is 25 so we'll do 208 plus 25 that is 233 right so which is 233 so the length is square root of 233 And square root of 233 is equal to 15.26. So that is the approximate length of a pencil which can fit into it. So we can round it to 15 centimeters. So a pencil of 15 centimeters can fit into this box diagonally. So that is how we can solve these kinds of questions. I hope you appreciate how we did it. So you need to first find the diagonal of the base and then consider the second triangle and find the pencil which could be put across as shown in the figure. I hope that helps. Thank you.